Introduction Hello dear friends, I am sure you must be enjoying your studies. As a treat, I have brought this bottle of juice for you. Can you tell how many glasses can we fill with the juice? Let us find out. We can fill our glasses with the juice from this bottle. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you will be able to compare containers which hold different amount of liquid. Arrange the containers with different amount of liquid in increasing or decreasing order. This is a spoon. I will now fill this spoon with milk. Let us see how many drops of milk are required to fill the spoon. Here goes the first drop. And this is second drop of milk in the spoon. The spoon is still empty. Let us put one more drop in the spoon. And now the fourth drop. Now the spoon is full. Hence, four drops of milk are needed to fill the spoon. Let us do another activity. We have three different vessels and a jug. We will fill water from the jug in these three vessels. Let us start with the first vessel. One, two and three. Here we see that three jugs of water fill the first vessel. Now let us fill the second vessel. One, two, three and four. Look, the bucket is full. Here four jugs of water fill this bucket. Now let us fill the third vessel, one and two. Two jugs of water fill the third vessel. Friends, we have seen that vessel one is filled with three jugs of water. Vessel two is filled with four jugs of water. And vessel three is filled with two jugs of water. It means vessel three holds least water. And vessel two holds most of the water. Sam brought a bottle of milk. Can he empty this bottle in a glass? He fills the glass with the milk from the bottle. Look, milk is still there in the bottle. He then takes another glass and pours the remaining milk in it. Look, the bottle is empty now. Thus, Sam can empty this bottle of milk into two glasses. Can we empty this bottle in a jug? Let us see. Fill the jug with the milk. The bottle is empty. We can empty this bottle in a jug. Friends, we have three different vessels. Which vessel holds the least water? Yes, you are right. The bowl holds the least water. A jar holds more water than the bowl. And the pot holds more water than the bowl and the jar. Let us now arrange these vessels in an increasing order. Bowl comes first because it holds the least water. The next in the row is jar as it holds more water than the bowl. At last we place the pot because it holds more water than the bowl and the jar. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. We have learned to compare the vessels containing liquid. We can arrange the containers in a row based on the different amount of liquids in them. 